Hey everybody, it's Chase and I'm a trainer over at Sequoia Wellness and today we're going to talk about some of the basic principles of exercise as it applies to your overall health. Today we're going to cover minimum exercise requirements and exercise intensity, uh, fitting in fitness into our everyday life, and physical activity versus exercise. Exercise has a dose response, meaning the more we do, the more benefits we receive. Exercise has also been proven to reduce all-cause mortality. The American College of Sports Medicine recommends that adults get 150 minutes of moderate intensity cardiovascular exercise per week, or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity cardiovascular exercise per week for disease prevention. This includes preventing diseases such as heart disease, kidney disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, and several types of cancers. Anything over these recommended amounts, we will see added benefits such as weight loss, reduction in waist and hip size, reduced blood pressure, increased energy, and reduced cholesterol. There are several different ways to determine our exercise intensity. Today, we're gonna to cover something called RPE, or rate of perceived exertion. We're gonna use a scale of one to 10, one being this easiest thing you've ever done, so maybe sitting on the couch watching your favorite show, and 10 being the most difficult thing you've ever done, where you can't do one more rep, take one more step. Moderate intensity is gonna fall between four and six on this scale. So it's gonna take some time to play with it, but over time we'll kind of determine what that looks like for you. Uh, vigorous exercise is gonna be seven and above. So anything that's gonna challenge us a little bit more than our average exercise. Moderate intensity should look something like we're sweating a little bit, we, we, our breathing has increased a little bit, our heart rate's up, but you and I could still have some type of conversation. Vigorous, uh, we're gonna be a lot more out of breath. Conversation's gonna be very short, if any, and it's gonna be noticeably more challenging than moderate intensity exercise. The American College of Sports Medicine also recommends two days of resistance training per week. I know this may seem like a lot on top of our cardiovascular exercise, but next we're gonna talk about some tips to fit exercise into our busy schedules. My first tip for adding exercise into our daily life is to take the first five minutes after you wake up and instead of playing on your phone like most of us are guilty of, myself included, to take those five minutes to stretch, do a simple body weight workout, take the dog for a walk. This is a great way to increase our energy and boost our metabolism in the morning as well. My second tip for adding in exercise throughout your day is to add it at work. I know a lot of us are working from home these days, so taking a small break to walk outside, walk the dog, even just walk up and down the steps a few times is a great way to add in a few minutes. The last topic I'm gonna to talk to you today about is physical activity versus exercise. A lot of the time I get asked, if I have a physically demanding job, do I still need to exercise regularly? And the answer is yes. Over time, our bodies are going to adapt to things we do regularly, including work. So we need to add an extra exercise to help prevent disease like we talked about earlier. If you have a physically demanding job, it is important that you listen to your body when adding in exercise as well. If you've had an extra hard day at work, going to the gym and trying to max out all of your lifts may not be the best idea. Going for a walk, a jog, or a run may be a better option. I also get asked if yard work is considered exercise, and that would fall into the category of physical activity, along with things like t taking out the trash, vacuuming the floor. These are all things that we do throughout our daily life that require us to move, but are not considered exercise. Exercise is something that is planned with the intent to improve our health and wellness. This can include taking a yoga class, lifting weights, going for a run, or numerous other things. I'm not saying that physical activity is not improving our health and wellness, but these activities cannot be counted towards our exercise minutes. I hope this information was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you in a future video. Again, this is Chase from Sequoia. Stay safe and I hope to see everybody soon.